Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Today's one of those good days. Today's one of those good days. Everything's going smooth. I love it. I love it. I love it when everything goes smooth right here on hashtag rise and grind. Dude, can I just start off this morning by saying thank you. I just want to start with a little gratitude, man. Thank you for changing my life. That's literally what you've done. Thank you so much for changing my life by helping me create a space in the morning where I can come, I can share the space with you, we can hang out, we can start off with some motivation, some education, some inspiration, the opportunities that have expanded from this particular group, the, the, it's just amazing. So I just want to start off today by saying thank you. And with that said, let's dive into today's episode of Hashtag Rise and Grind. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? there's no excuse for you not pushing yourself to the next level in order for you to create a new you you must have a new mindset when teams come together we can create things that are greater than the sum of all of their parts And welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to eight, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning, good morning, good morning that's right how are you my friend how are you my friend dude today is what is today i think it's wednesday that's right cma day that's what i love to call wednesday carter myers automotive group my favorite dealership group on the planet today is wednesday january 6 2021 <laughs> a six days of this year already gone just like that man it's flying right it is flying so today is wednesday january 6 2021 and what's crazy is today is the very first and i mean the very first and the very last time it will ever be wednesday January 6, 2021. So let's make the absolute most of this absolutely incredible, incredible day. Fair enough? Let's make the absolute most. My name is Glenn Lundy. Glenn Lundy. I am the host of Hashtag Rise and Grind. I'm also the creator of the Rise and Grind group on Facebook. Over 30,000 members. A place where you'll find nothing but motivation, education, and inspiration. That's all we do. Listen, this is episode number 782. I believe, of hashtag rise and grind. And what's crazy is this show started in a closet. Literally, my utility closet, January 6th. It was exactly three years ago today. We did the first episode of hashtag rise and grind in my utility closet upstairs. It was a room that was eight feet long and about four feet wide. Just on the other side of the camera. Just on the back side of the camera was a water heater that nobody could see. I made sure the, the camera was positioned perfectly where it looked like I was in some sort of kind of studio. I had sound deadening things up on the sides of the walls, but you could even see some of my Rising Grand t-shirts hanging on hangers because that was the only space my wife gave me in the entire house to do this show. So fast forward, since then, in just three years from episode one of Hashtag Rise and Grind, since then, this show has helped me get on stages with Eric Thomas, the number one motivational speaker in the world. It has also helped me to build a seven-figure business and over 30,000 connections in our Facebook group, which is amazing. 
We've been able to create a clothing line with hoodies and hats and t-shirts and planners and all of those things. We're even selling coffee now. We got our own coffee line and it was the catalyst for me writing my book. A book called The Morning Five, Five Simple Steps to an Extraordinary Life. You can go get that book for free at themorningfive.com. But most importantly, hashtag Rise and Grind. This show, three years today, most importantly, this show has allowed me to connect with some of the most amazing superhumans on the planet. And that's you. Those of you that are listening right now on Clubhouse, I'm so excited to be connected with you. It's a new audience, only been on the platform for like a week, already developing some incredible relationships. Those of you that have been listening and watching for years and years with me on Facebook, the relationships that we've been able to develop are absolutely incredible. But my probably most impactful part of hashtag Rise and Grind has been Rise and Grind Offline relationships with you and the things that we've been able to do out in the community. Everything from the time where we raised $400,000 to battle human sex trafficking, to handing out free lunches to police officers, and even picking up homeless people off the streets and giving them dignity, hope, a job, and a place to stay. I'm showing a picture on the screen. For those of you that are watching on Facebook, you can see it. Those of you that are listening on the podcast or listening in Clubhouse, there's a picture of me standing with a young man by the name of Austin Smith. And Austin Smith, I literally found him walking on the streets homeless two Christ three Christmases ago. So just a little over two years ago, three Christmases ago. And I picked up Austin and I posted on social media that this young 21-year-old kid was homeless and needed help. And the Rise and Grind group came together, provided him clothes and a cell phone and a job and, and all of those things. Fast forward two years. Yesterday, Austin walked into my, into my studio. He walked into my studio and he handed me an Outback gift card for $175 to take my family to Outback because he just wanted to say thank you. He'd been sober since the day we picked him up. He's now engaged to a beautiful human. He's got a job working as a manager at, a, at an Amazon uh, distribution place. He's doing really big things in his life. And it was all because of hashtag rise and grind offline. So listen, you guys are amazing. This show has ultimately transformed my life forever as well as so many other people. It's absolutely unbelievable. And it all started with these words. Change the way you start your day. You see, a solid morning routine has drastically altered my life. And it can 100% do the same for you. Listen, this week on Hashtag Rise and Grind, we are breaking down the morning five. The five simple steps that I believe if you can apply in your life every single morning, if you apply these five simple steps, it will make a massive impact in your life, guaranteed it. Like I said, you can download the free ebook at themorning5.com if you want to follow along, if you want to read more about it, if you want to go more into depth, you're welcome to do that. You can go ahead and do that now if you'd like, because what we're going to do here for just the next few minutes is I want to say good morning to you, and I want you to say good morning to me. Whether you're watching live or you're watching on the replay, whether you're listening on the podcast, whether you're connecting on YouTube or over in Clubhouse, say what's up and I'll say what's up back because it's all about connections, my friends. Currently, we got 300 of you that are watching over on Facebook. We got another 130 over on Clubhouse. That's 400 people that are starting off our day in an incredible way. So I want to say good morning to my friends over on the Clubhouse platform. How you doing, Joy? How you doing, Catherine? What's up, Jay and Kaylee? How you doing, Kirsten? I see Mark and Claire. I see Angel. I see Era Zach. I see Kiara. I see Carlos and Chantel. Michelle's on here. I see Jarrett and Vincent and Shauna and Dr. Kendall. What's up, Kirsten? Elizabeth's here. Kathy. Lakeisha's in here this morning. And over on Facebook, I see my friend and Margaret Robbins, Heather Geis, what's up Janelle Diego, how you doing Rodney Rock Hatfield and Kristen Octibs, Miss Liza Myers and Borges, 
is in the house this morning. How you doing, Wendy Reeves, Melvin Rodriguez, and Emily Gallard? What's up, Darian Burgess? Great to see you as well. Marlene Douglas is in the house. We've got Amante Harvey, Sherry Chaquette, Kevin Bailey, Stephen Coon. Oh my goodness, brother. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this place is packed this morning. Can y'all feel that energy? What's up, Justin Walker and Jeremy Noli? Also over here on the clubhouse, I'm going back and forth. Can y'all see me? What's up, Yvette? I already said hi to you. I'm going to say hi to you again. What's up, Brianna? We got Ronnie. We got Marty in the house this morning. My man, Michael, looking all buff in that thumbnail. What's up, Bori? It's great to see you as well. We got Tony up in the house, Janelle, Doug. Everybody's up in here on hashtag rise and grind. Listen, I love it. I love it. And I also want to let you know while you're here this morning, we have something called Rise and Grind Elite, which is our mastermind. We get together a couple hours a week. You can go to riseandgrindelite.com if you want to be a part of that. We're going to be launching our goalkeepers course in there. Our goalkeepers course is going to help you keep your New Year's resolutions here in 2021. So if you want to be a part of that, come let me know. Also, after the show, as soon as the show is done, we will be opening up for Q&A over on the Clubhouse platform. We have a group called Breakfast with Champions, the Millionaire Breakfast Club. And that's your opportunity to get a seat at the table and ask questions from those that are at the place where you're hoping to get. So make sure you come join us over there on Clubhouse. It's a lot of fun. We will hang out there until 10 a.m. Eastern time. That's right. You heard me. Man, incredible morning. Let's dive in today to the morning five. We're going to talk about these steps that can absolutely change your life. Fair enough? Fair enough. Let's do Listen, my friends, listen, my friends, check it out, check it out. We talked a little bit yesterday about the morning five, right? We talked about the morning five, these five simple steps, never hit the snooze button. Step one, don't touch your phone. First thing in the morning, step two, write down your gratitude and goals. Step three and step four is take care of yourself physically. Step five is to send out an encouraging message, right? We talked about that briefly yesterday, but I want to let you know that I believe in this so much. I'm willing to put my money where my mouth is. So I am putting out there the 67 day challenge. If you can do those five steps every day for 67 days and you can post a picture of you completing one or more of those steps on Facebook or Instagram using the hashtag, the morning five, you do that for 67 days. Not only can I promise you it'll change your life, but I will send you an entire gear bundle. I'll send you a hoodie. I'll send you a hat. I'm not going to make you pay for shipping and handling or none of that. I'll send it to you 100% completely for free because I know it works. Morning routine, science has proven they work. Having one that tackles mind, body, and spirit is so incredibly important. So I want to challenge you with that. You can go to themorning5.com to learn more about that if you'd like. But I want to put that challenge out there because it's so incredibly important. As a matter of fact, there's a friend of mine named Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone talks about the power of a morning routine. He talks about how having a strong morning routine has been impactful in his life as well. And so I bring him in because he's been a mentor of mine for over 20 years, and I'm super excited to announce that tonight he's going to be on a show called Undercover Billionaire that launches on Discovery Channel at 8 o'clock. He's jacked up about it. I know I'm jacked up about it. I want to show you a quick little clip of what you can expect on that show tonight, and I hope you'll support Grant because he supports us as well. My mission right now is to get my kids here, to be with my kids. I cannot, I cannot face the possibility that the next time I see my kids, they're a half inch taller. Today will be on the 
starting to hit the outsides of the longest period of time I haven't been around my kids. My dad never got to see me grow up. See, this is all the stuff people deal with every day. My mic. I think you guys will be surprised, man. You're going to find a different side of Grant Cardone this morning. Look, check it out. Let's dive in, all right? You've already done something great this morning, I hope. I hope this morning you did not hit the snooze button. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping you can already celebrate you over there dancing. You're like, I did not hit the snooze button, did not hit the snooze button, right? Because the snooze button is the devil. I don't know if anybody's ever told you that, but the snooze button is literally the devil. We covered all of this yesterday, the reasons behind that. But trust me, you do not want to hit, to hit the snooze button. It is selling you a lie. And here's what's crazy is 65%, that's right, 65% of humans around the world hit the snooze button. Oh my gosh, dude. It's selling you. It's telling you that 10 more minutes of sleep is going to make you feel more rested. And that simply is not the case. So step one of the morning five is to never hit the snooze button. We covered that in depth yesterday. Step two of the morning five is don't touch your phone first thing in the morning. <laughs> oh my gosh, people are dropping off. They're like, no, Glenn, I have to have my phone first thing in the morning. Listen, we're going to talk about this. I'm going to tell you why you grabbing your phone first thing in the morning is killing you. I'm going to explain that to you right now. Listen, I hear it all the time. People are like, Glenn, I have to jump on my phone. I've got emails. I've got texts. I've got all these different things. Like I, I have to respond. Like, what if somebody died? And I'm like, bro, if somebody died last night, they're not going to mind that it took you an extra hour to get to your phone this morning. I promise. It's not going to bother them at all. So we're going to talk about this. Why is this so bad for you to be touching your phone first thing in the morning? Listen to me. Studies have shown, science has shown that 71% of what you see or read on social media is considered negative or offensive. 71%, I want you to think about that number, of what you see or read on social media is considered negative or offensive. So I want to paint a picture for you real quick, all right? I want you to just imagine, just imagine that in a room, okay, there's 10 people in a room, and here they are, I'm going to list them all out. Debbie Downer is in the room, Negative Nancy is in the room, Bitchy Bob is in the room. Karen is in the room. Pessimistic Paul is in the room. Gloomy Gus is in the room. And Cynical Kathy are in the room. Those are the first seven people in the room. The other three people in the room are you and two of your closest family members or friends. All right? Who's going to win that room? Do you think that you and your two closest family members and friends, do you think that you guys are going to bring up negative Nancy and bitchy Bob and Debbie Downer and Karen and pessimistic Paul and gloomy Gus and cynical Kathy, or are they going to bring you down? What's going to happen? Let's keep it real, right? Let's keep it real. It, don't, it doesn't matter how positive you are. It doesn't matter how successful you are. It doesn't matter how great your life is. You go in a room with those seven, they are going to bring you down. This is what's happening in social media. 71% is negative or offensive. 71%. Listen, negativity affects your health. Scientists have proved proven this isn't like woo woo rah 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 stuff scientists have proven that negativity affects your health negative attitudes and feelings of helplessness and hopeless hopelessness can create chronic stress which upsets the body's hormone balance depletes the brain chemicals that are required for happiness and ultimately damages your immune system okay this is not a joke like we ain't playing negativity can kill you Negativity affects business. Your negativity in your business can cause distrust among your employees. Negativity in your business can cause decreased engagement amongst your employees. Negativity in your business can ultimately become a liability that can lead to harassment charges and things like that, right? 
So listen, we can't be jumping up first thing in the morning and jumping into a space that we know 71% of that is going to be negative. Now, some of you might be thinking right now, well, Glenn, I don't, I, I might grab my phone, but I don't go into social media. I, 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 I check my emails. I got my text messages. I got a business to run, so on and so forth. But listen, 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 I got to talk to you. Gra grabbing your phone first thing in the morning is the worst thing that you can do. If you accidentally go down that rabbit hole of negativity, if you just accidentally stumble into it, it if, if it happens one time in a day, that's not much. It's not really going to affect you that much, right? But if it happens a few times a week, added up, compounded over a year, now we're starting to, to have a bigger impact, right? It's going to be much worse. And then I want you to add up all the times you go down those negativity rabbit holes over the course of a decade and you're toast. You're toast. Literally grabbing your phone first thing in the morning is the worst thing you can do. This is coming from a guy that hosts a morning show. This is coming from a guy who's built an entire business around you joining me at 5.30 a.m. Eastern Time and then throughout the morning across the country and around the globe. I'm here to tell you, if the first thing that you do when you wake up in the morning is jump on and watch my show, I, I don't suggest you do that. I really don't. You see, I don't want my thoughts or words to influence or direct traffic for you in the wrong direction. The God of the universe, the spirit, whatever you words you want to use may be guiding you on a certain path. And I don't want to take you off track. So if you like watching my show live, I suggest you get up earlier and spend a little time on yourself before you ever jump into my show. You hear me? Can I get an amen on that? Listen, feeding your brain negativity first thing in the morning is awful, but also allowing Bob, Gus, Karen, for example, allowing any of them to steer your ship is just as bad. Emails, text messages, missed calls, any of these things, notification overload, like you have no clue what direction those things are going to lead you. You cannot control that. You might open an email and it's a bad review and so on and so forth. Your whole day's shot, right? So if you let other people lead your life, you're ultimately going to end up somewhere you don't want to be. You must take control of your morning, control your morning, control your life. So I'm going to give you a life hack. All right. Here's a life hack that's going to help you with this. This life hack might just possibly transform your health all the way across the board, not just your morning. I'm just saying that right now. So I hope you're paying attention. This life hack can change your relationships. This life hack can change your finances. This life hack can advance your career. And this life hack can help you find and tap into your inner purpose and peace. It can do all of those things. Instead of grabbing your phone first thing in the morning, instead, I want you to put on some headphones and I want you to listen to instrumental music. I'm serious. I know some of y'all like what? Listen, I want you to put on your headphones and listen to instrumental music. You can find instrumental music through YouTube, Pandora, anywhere that you can download sound, right? It's easy to find instrumental music wherever you got to find it. You can listen to epic scores. There's lots of like lots of different things that you can do. Listen, here's what I want. Here's what I want you to know. Y'all think I'm messing around. Listen, Here's what science says about instrumental music. Trust me on this, all right? Science says that instrumental music will strengthen your bonds with others. Science says that instrumental music will strengthen your memory and your reading skills. Science says that instrumental music will actually increase blood flow in your brain and will make you happy. Isn't that crazy? It's, that's a bold claim. It will make you happy. Scientists have proven that instrumental music will help your brain recover, helps the, the cells regenerate faster. Scientists have proven that instrumental music will reduce stress and depression in your life. What's even crazier is they've proven that uh, instrumental music can even help develop more multi-sensory skills. So it can help you to become a better multitasker. <laughs> 
And so instead of bringing Karen in first thing in the morning, what if you brought in some instrumental music? And see, when it comes to instrumental music, you can go with the classics, right? You can listen to somebody like Beethoven. You can listen to somebody like Bach. You can listen to somebody like Mozart. Uh, they even now, they've got like hip-hop instrumental music, which is amazing, right? If you go on and you search for hip-hop Beethoven or hip-hop Mozart, you can find tons of it. Instrumental music that has like hip-hop beats and themes that you're used to. You can find hip-hop uh, like classics, all kinds of stuff, right? Like it's incredible what they've been able to do with instrumental music. You can search for epic scores, right? Like my favorite is Hans Zimmer, H A N S. Z-I-M-M-E-R. Hans Zimmer has some of the most incredible epic scores that you can possibly imagine. And you see, when it comes to instrumental music, there is instrumental music for every mood. So you've got to find what fits you. Some people like a little more upbeat instrumental. Some people like a little more downtone. What you don't want to do is put on any instrumental music that's going to put you to sleep. Don't do that. All right? Don't do that. Yeah, the piano guys are amazing, right? You can do the piano, guys. Find something that's going to charge you up, that's going to increase your energy, that's going to increase that blood flow, that's going to get the mind firing on all cylinders, not something that's going to do the opposite. Do that every day instead of grabbing your phone and watch what happens in your life. Because see, here's what happens, my friend. When you change the way you start your day, it makes a massive impact in every single component of your life moving forward. Take it from me. My life has been transformed over the last three years. Mine and thousands and thousands of other people all across the country. By simply changing the way you start your day, it makes a massive impact in everything else. And you, my friend, need to understand something. You winning matters. You becoming the best version of yourself that you can possibly be matters. Because see, I believe that we are all children of God, the God of the universe, the God that made everything. And that God made me and you to be the absolute best versions of ourselves that we can possibly be so we can make an impact in other people's lives. He didn't make us to be an average version, a little bit above average or a little bit below average, but the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. So you making a decision to control your morning, you making a decision to do the five simple steps that feed your mind, your body, and your spirit. You making that decision matters. It makes an impact in other people's lives. And that's what it's all about, man. I believe we have a born on date and an expiration date. And that little dash in the middle is all about impact. So I need you to be the best version of you that you can possibly be. And I need you to know that as my sister and as my brother, I absolutely stinking love you. For real. If nobody's told you that yet today, I want to be the first. I absolutely stinking love you. Listen, my friends, I'm going to head out of here. If you need more videos like this, you can go to glennlundy.com. We got tons of them up there, over 780 of them. Also, if you want to come join and dive in deeper, if you want to go into some Q&A, you want to interact, you want to have breakfast, you want to hang out, any of those things, head on over to the Clubhouse app. We're going to be hanging out over there all morning long. Just search for Breakfast with Champions, and you should be able to find us. I think it's Breakfast with, like, with a, a W and a slash, however you want to do it. Go search for that. Go hang out with us over there. We're going to be over there. It's going to be stinking awesome. But most importantly, go out there, have an amazing day today. One of those amazing, incredible, over-the-top, incredibly memorable days. And then I'll see you back here again tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. Because we're going to do it all over again here on Hashtag Rise and Grind. Mm. Let's do this. Oh, and join me for the watch party tonight. Grant Cardone, baby, Undercover Billionaire, 8 p.m. Don't forget, I'll see you there. Have a great day. Wake up, wake up.
up, wake up, wake up, wake up everybody in the land. Make them all get up and turn the volume up and dance.